What can happen if you miss an email from immigration? Sometimes when you get an email correspondence from immigration, it will give you 30 days, 45 days, or 60 days to respond. And in some cases, those notices are final. It will say at the top or at, in the middle or at the bottom, final warning. If we do not respond to this email with the required documentation, your application may be refused. It happens a lot where individuals will miss an email either because it went into spam or it was never received or most often they're not. It's they simply didn't see it because nowadays all of us get so many emails, a lot of newsletters, promotional items, um, just the number of different emails and it's very easy to miss an email from immigration especially if you're not used to seeing the subject line you know sometimes it'll say do not reply or the where it's coming from it's not very clear it might be the name of the office but it might not say immigration so we are seeing a lot of cases where clients are coming to us because they missed an email and their application was refused and in a lot of cases this is absolutely heartbreaking because sometimes there's nothing we can do. Um, ideally, hopefully, we can do something so we can contact immigration, we can ask them to reopen the file. It's called a request for reconsideration. We can explain to them what happened, basically argue the case and say, look, this was an honest mistake or we never got, the clients never got the email or it went into spam or they just missed it. But if the file is not reopened, it can have devastating uh, impacts on our clients, especially for categories of applications that are very limited. For example, a parental sponsorship application. We have some cases where sponsors were invited to file an application. The clients didn't have a legal representative. They missed the email and then a few months later or 30 days later they got a letter saying you never responded to us so your application is refused these are very gut-wrenching cases because as many of you know if you if you have tried to sponsor a parent or a grandparent to canada you know that you tried many times for years because the program is so limited uh, you have to be invited it used to be a lottery system then it was a draw and the processing time for parental sponsorships are extremely long as well. So, you know, to miss an email and then not be able to sponsor your parent or grandparent is absolutely horrific. So that's why I always tell clients, whether you're hiring a lawyer or not, so if you're not hiring a lawyer, it's your responsibility, obviously. So you want to make sure that you monitor that email extremely well every single day multiple times a day make sure you go through all the junk emails make sure you clean keep your inbox very clean make sure you check your spam um, because if you miss that email you've missed your chance um, if you're not sure if you did receive an email you can call the call center follow up you can send a web form to follow up so if you don't have a representative, you really have to make sure that you're on top of checking your emails. Um, also check your regular mail, because sometimes you might get something in the mail, but more often than not, now everything is through the portals, everything is online, everything is by email. But when you complete an application online, especially for parental sponsorship, you will see that you will be requested to enter different email addresses. The e an email address to create the portal, an email address for your parent, an email address for you. So if you have a lot of different emails, are you gonna be monitor monitoring all of those emails? So you really have to be on top of it. And if you do have a lawyer, then that kind of takes away a lot of the burden because as immigration lawyers, we check our email inbox every single minute of every single day and we have multiple people's checking it so we make sure that no email is missed and if we do get an email with a tight timeline we make sure that everything is um, correctly submitted so if you're somebody that's not going to be on top of the emails if you have a stressful job if you have a busy life 
and you're just someone that checks their emails every few days or every two weeks, you really have to make sure you hire somebody because you cannot afford to miss an email. Uh, if the file is refused, yes, we can request, uh, we can make a request to reopen, but it's not guaranteed. More often than not, they will not reopen those cases. We could try to go to court and contest it, but that could cost thousands of additional dollars, and that's also not guaranteed. It just <clears throat> creates a number of complex issues that you just don't want to deal with that could have been avoided if you received the email. Um, if you have missed a, an email, if, you've had, if you have had this issue before and you're trying to figure out what to do, then contact our office and uh, we'd be happy to, to set up an appointment with you to discuss. I hope this uh, video was helpful for you.